Well, the lawnmower saga is continuing. It's the same lawnmower that the wheels all rusted off of, off the frame, and I had to fiberglass it together a couple years ago. The lawnmower still has been doing pretty good up until the other day when we tried to start it and the engine popped loose. Luckily it didn't start because then something bad might have happened. And so you can tell, I just had to unbolt that one. This one's rusted off completely. Just rusty metal, and over here the same thing. Now I gotta fix this. Well, it's kind of late now, but I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna pressure clean the inside of this all out to get rid of all the the dried up, stuck on grass, and get rid of some of the rust so I can see what's left and make my decision on either to throw it away or to fiberglass it again and salvage it another year or so. I changed my mind. I decided I didn't want to bother with setting up the pressure washer. It's kind of a big deal for such a little job. I'm just going to use the garden hose. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and, and wire wheel it all down and get all the loose paint, loose rust off so I can go ahead and try to start fiberglassing it. I'm going to tape up the bottom so when I resonate it won't all just drip out all over the place. Found this roll of uh, fiberglass in the garage. I was looking for some uh, big layers of it, but I couldn't find it. So, this is what I'm gonna have to do it with all this stuff here. I believe this is fiberglass. I'm using uh, laminating resin. It's something I got uh, locally. Nothing real special. Used for repairing boats, things like that. I should be wearing gloves and a respirator. And normally I do, but I'm in a hurry. I'm probably putting too much catalyst in it. Because it's been a while since I've done it. I'm just brushing it on to make sure I get it in all the good on the cracks and make sure it's airtight so it doesn't rust so fast back again underneath the fiberglass. And it's better to use little pieces to get the shape down first. Now that I got a base of the thinner stuff, I'm going to use a little bit thicker. Well, a lot thicker. Because it's what I have. I prefer to have a lot of much finer stuff, but this is what I got. pretty strong so if I can get it just to lay down I should be all right I don't know if it's going to want to lay down well I'm going to safely say that this uh, heavy stuff is probably not going to work very good try a different method a method that I like to soak the paper first the trick is to get it really saturated and then uh, get rid of any leftover resin because resin by itself is really brittle. 
Now I'm just trying to use this little fiberglass strips to uh, help soak up the resin and also to help once it gets wet it might keep the other stuff from coming up just to get it to lay down tight before it hardens up you can kind of scrape some of the, the extra stuff off fairly easy and after this dries I can sand it a little bit and then go ahead and paint it it's only been about an hour and a half two hours since I blasted so it's semi hard but it's still soft enough I can trim with a knife couple more hours I would have to only take a grinder, it would be too hard to trim. primer and then the final red coat paint job fire engine red several red coats Yeah, I'm still fooling with the lawnmower. Um, I've had trouble with getting the bolts out of the bottom. I actually had to uh, heat one of them. Uh, you heat the aluminum outside and it expands faster than the, the steel screw or bolt. And uh, I was able to get one of them out, this one out. But the other one I, I couldn't get out. I, I actually tried these outside things that, that actually reverse spiral. And what they do it typically is you, you can put them on the on the head of the bolt and they'll grab it if you have the right size and you can put a wrench on it or socket or impact wrench on it and get it out and I tried that with the one and it got all eaten up it was just nasty and finally it snapped off I, it would not come out and uh, so now what I'm doing is I'm having to drill it out which is another fun thing to do uh, oh, by the way, I did take the uh, gas tank off the lawnmower before I went ahead and started heating it up because I didn't want to, you know, make a little explosion. So now we're trying to drill out the last screw. And a little oil helps a little bit on it. Put a little oil on it. Now, since my oil is all dripping out of the motor, I could just go underneath it and do it. And you don't want to go too fast, just a little bit of pressure. A nice sharp bit. Um, I tried sharpening this bit. It's not really all that sharp, but and I'm gonna try to sharpen the bit a little bit more. Oh yeah, much better. See the metal filings are kind of falling out. The sharpened bit is making a big difference. I think that's pretty much through the main part. 
I'll leave a little bit solid there so I can maybe actually unbolt it. Well, there's not much to grab. There's pretty much ate much of it up, and this is my smallest, whatever you call these things, outside grabber things. But I try to just tap it on with the hammer. And I'm hoping that there's enough of that center section missing that it will pop loose. Looks like no such luck. Maybe if I heat it again. A little bit of oil is probably not a good idea. Can't hardly even see the flame because of the it's too bright, but it's there. I'll just probably do it if it's gonna work. kind of pull off, off at a weird angle and it makes it a lot harder. It wants to but either this comes out or I have to retap it. And it's not gonna come out. Nothing to grab. Shame they're not a little longer. Probably still hot. And I tried vice grips. There's no room around it to get any kind of a twist. doing anything just eating away this bowl. so I'm gonna go ahead and finish drilling it out all the way through <laughs> gone through and drilled it out and now I'm gonna try to tap new threads in the same hole and I checked with the, one of the other bolts to make sure that it's all the same. I'm going to go ahead and clean the other ones out too because they were a pain to get out. It's going to be a little bit hard to get it started. Now you want to turn it a couple of turns or half a turn and then you back it a little bit. And what that does is it puts the threads in the middle so they can fall out the stuff, the junk that's cleaning out of the threads. I could have just drilled it a little bit bigger or used a bolt and put a nut on the other side with a washer, lock washer, all that stuff, probably a nylon lock washer. But uh, if I can get it the same, I'm gonna rather have it the same. And this lawnmower is really not worth all this trouble. But because I've been keeping it alive for so long, I kinda hate to have a guy. I could have just as easily have gone in the trash and found a pretty much a whole new deck with a blown engine in it and swap the engine but what would the fun be in that and I got it through clean it out a couple of times and unthread it 
Got to remember to put more oil in this engine when I'm done because I've pretty much changed the oil by just turning it upside down and it's all been dripping out making a mess. And you can see the clean new threads in the bottom. You see some of the old threads at the top. And just going to run it through these other ones just to clean them all up. And now to see if I can line this motor up. And I glassed over all the holes so I really can't tell for sure which one is it. And I stuck a drill down a couple of these holes to make sure the holes line up on the ones that I already just drilled. And that leaves this one as the last one, which is harder to get, so I'm going to go and scratch the paint up with another drill, just kind of turning it. I'm going to go and drill a small hole first. That way it's less likely to drift off too far. I'll go with the bigger drill bit. Now if I had all the bolts, probably fender washers, I could go ahead and finish this up now, put the oil in it, and maybe get it to start. Now we're putting in the larger 3 8 bolts uh, up from the bottom with a big fender washer on them. And I'm letting the fender washer just kind of bend and make its own spot. I have a lock washer on here to help keep it from loosening. I don't want to pull the lawnmower on top of my head. That wouldn't be very good. I don't want to get them real tight because I don't ever plan on tightening these again. There's only one bolt and it goes in the center. It goes in the center like that. The curved part goes down because this is the blade that cuts. It spins this away so this is the sharp side. So it has that little curvature. Curvature on this particular blade goes down. And my spark plug is disconnected. <laughs> well there's no gas tank on it anyway so it wouldn't start. But you never want to do this with the spark plug attached. The obvious reason is if the blade spins, it could start up. When I first got the lawnmower back together with the carburetor on it, it would not it would start, but only for about 10 seconds or less. And I take the carburetor back off dump it out. It was actually had a lot of water in it, probably because of rain and things that was laying out here. And uh, put it all back together. Now I got it running. Time to mow the front yard. It's wife happy. Valentine's was yesterday.